Hey guys, this is uh, Black Woman 7 here, and today I'll be going over our matchup for uh, Cynthia, or one of the moderators in uh, Pokemon Amino apps. So, or one of the many uh, forum discussions there, so keep in mind it's not a paid advertisement to use it that, that site, so. Oh, uh, whatever. So, anyways, uh, we're here for a battle, so. And as you can see, uh, I've already done my team builder, if you guys want to look at that, you know, for, not team builder, my sort of staff analysis, if you guys want to look that up, so. So our matchup uh, is actually round two, instead of round one, because we got a buy. And yeah, that's, that's really thankful, so. <laughs> um, so, anyways, we're up against Cynthia, which is one of the head moderators at the Pokemon Amino, like, the main like Pokemon we know like site so yeah um and honestly the team we were facing off is kind of terrifying but at the same time kind of balanced so we'll just get over it so we have Miguel Taria, Jirachi, Zerora, uh, Nidoqueen, uh, Gren, Serena, Likiliki, Hariyama, and uh, Zatu so honestly not a lot of Honestly, the big threats are the Jirachi, or Aura, and obviously the Nidoqueen, because this is probably the, one of the bigger answers to, uh, or the main answers to Megirino that she has, so. And probably the only rocker, outside of, you know, Grand with the T-Spikes, so yeah. Or Spikes in general, so yeah. I'm kind of expecting Nidoqueen here. Probably be a more defensive Nidoqueen. Uh, maybe with T-Spikes, or offensive, I don't know. Obviously, this thing's gonna come with Life or or Power, or Ice Beam, and whatnot, so. Uh, Gren, I don't know if it's fought, if she'll, if she'll, like, um, use Gren. Um, uh, to be honest, uh, Greninja is pretty, uh, uh, strong versus me, because I have nothing to outspeed it. Same with Zeraora, because this thing got, actually kind of counters that those pretty hard. Uh, especially if it has bulk up or combine. I have to like be very careful and I've I've learned this the hard way so especially when it got released back in like last year so um and then we have Mega Altaria which is probably a well balanced Mega even though despite the pixelate nerf it's still pretty good with access to return double edge hyper poise it could be like especially offensive or spit or physically or physically offensive but you know with you know Google Dragon Dance set, or it could be mixed. Um, I've used like Altaria before, like back in Gen Six, so I wouldn't be surprised if this thing uh, is like mixed or something like that, or just a very bulky. Lol. So yeah, Jirachi is just really annoying. You know, flinching Mon. Or it could be a cleric, or if this or she does decide to bring like that that specific uh, Jirachi set, then that might be bad. <laughs> You know, one with the body slab, iron head, and then, you know, the rest, so yeah. Serena, I don't think he's gonna come at all. Uh, even though it has rapid spin, I just think it's just not as useful here. Lakey Lakey might, just because of his cleric. Then with Hariyama, Hariyama's a good breaker with guts. Way more doesn't, like, you know, kill or doesn't kill this thing as rapidly as he used to, but, you know. Um, Guts is always a very uh, good option. It could also be AV, but you know, um, my team has good counter measures, Hadi, so. Then you have, uh, Zatu, and, uh, honestly, this thing will likely be Magic Bounce, so it could be a good way to stop my hazard setters, because honestly, Zatu has a good matchup versus, like, both my Toad and my, uh, my, uh, Mudsdale, so yeah, so. That's her team, and we'll get on to my matchup. So we have here Stormbreaker, Zapdos, and to be honest, uh, Zapdos is just here just to check everything that's like basically offensive. Um, I honestly wanted to just like static so badly, but I realized pressure might be just better, just because you know, um, like obviously like uh, I want to PP stall the Iron Heads from Jirachi if that's for the case, and also uh be able to beat like any of his Pokemon in a 1v1. I think it's more so like, I believe it was like, who was it? Who was it? I think it was just Jirachi really, because everything else, like, they're gonna, like, this guy will likely be like, 
um flame orb everything else doesn't want to like doesn't want to touch me and except for this like thorough can touch staff deals all at once even though it has like i have rocky helmet specifically for sir Hora. and i have hidden fire eyes i really want a toxic but i was like eh whatever i do have like my answer is aurora so i do have defog in case like uh alicentia brings up spikes because i think spikes can be really really bad for me so especially for this uh semi-toxic build stall build that we have so here we have a uh, Vioplume. pretty much our best answer is our aura with sledge bomb or open therapy stun spore and strength step and uh i actually i flip between stun spore and sleep powder constantly here and i just didn't know which one's better so i ultimately decided you know i'm just gonna bring uh like stun spore because at least i could paralyze something especially if it's altaria or if it's like a uh, Jirachi. Um, Sludge Bomb just for poisoning stuff. You know, the thing about Vileplume is that it could just bang death up up against the Aurora, just recover back up easily, so yeah. Not much to say, just kind of like makes bulk on the physical side mostly, so with some Spadef to take some hits there, so in case I have to deal with a Fire Blast uh, Altaria, so. Here we have a Wish uh, a Licky Licky, which is pretty much standard. Uh, just uh, especially defensive, but it's just standard if you think about it. So just body slam, earthquake, wish, protect. This is mainly here to take on the Jirachi if it's like a calm mindset. So I can, last minute I just I remember like a last minute like like Spadef or not Spadef, but like something of a like something similar of a calm mind Jirachi could like beat this team. So I decided, you know what? I just rather run body slam just to provide more paralysis. I mean, we have three Pokemon that could give paralysis. Just keep that in mind. So, yeah, and Wish is just to help me uh, support the team in general, so um, not really much to say. Earthquake just for Jirachi, or Jirachi and also Aurora just for coverage, so yeah. Then you have uh, Toad, which is very, very spadef in case I have to deal with like a Grass Knot variant of like both Toad or both uh, Zorora or Greninja, so I have Stealth Rocks just to remove has or to just set up hazards, knock off, just remove items, earthquake, you know, for general damage, and like, lastly, toxics to toxic down down stuff, so it's pretty much standard if you ask me, so. Then we have our win cons, which is uh, Magirna, which is pretty good here. Um, I didn't really offer a lot of uh, speed initially, just because I felt that, he, uh, that Hariyama wasn't going to be like, very speedy, so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to like, but a little bit of, of a speed creep to Needle Queen Dan to just fully creep for Hadiyama, so... I just... I did put like some defense EVs as for death, and I just made it modest nature. I just get the two shots when I need it, so yeah. After a Calm Mind boost, I should be able to, to clean uh, most of Cynthia's team, so yeah. And lastly, Gallade, because Gallade is just cool. Yeah, same as Nightmare, so... Uh, shoutouts to him, by the way, so... We have Drain Punch, Earthquake, Ice Punch... Good old ice ground coverage and sword stance, so pretty much set up. We clean this, we clean or break the team or whatever. So <laughs> remember, it's more cell setup. You know, we sweep. So I think we set up sweep him so, or her. Anyways, uh, I think that's the team. So I'll be uh, going on to the battle. So be right back. All right, so we're back. So so looking at the, the team that Centinia has. Uh, she has uh, Greninja, Sorora, Unicoin, Zatsu, Licky Licky, and uh, Mega Altaria. So the Pokemon that she dropped for this matchup were Hariyama, I believe the Jirachi, which was one Pokemon I actually expected to try to counter the uh, Magirna, because, you know, typically Jirachi is like one of the best Magirna checks. And the uh, Arena, which I never expected that to be brought, so pretty much almost everything I expected, except for maybe the Licky Licky, so... Um, I knew Zerora and Leaky, uh, the Needle Queen and the Grand were coming as well as Mega Alfario, so that was pretty likely. So for this matchup, I'm just thinking to myself, okay, how do, how am I gonna get into like set to win with either Magirna or Gallade? So and I'm already thinking to myself, okay, I kind of want to like kind of scout out his team first, and uh, yeah. Um. Anyways, I will try to figure out like. 
I'm trying to figure out, okay, what exact Pokemon would I want to, like, be facing off, because honestly, I could leave Zapdos, but if that's their aura, then I'm pretty much screwed. And there's also Licky Licky, which is pretty much a safe mid-ground, but I could also be pretty screwed if he's, if the Grand starts setting up spikes or anything else, so... In the end, I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna go with my Zapdos, and it goes to the Sasu, so... And to be honest, uh, this was an okay matchup because I was like, okay, I was just hoping that this, uh, that uh, Cynthia doesn't lead with uh, her, uh, um, with the, like, with the Zero Aura because I just knew that, like, if Zero Aura just was a lead, that would have been bad for me. But even then, like, I have Bioplume and, like, Seismitoad. It's just some more of a momentum thing, if you, I guess you could say. Because... Zoro might be set up at plus one or plus two, like with uh, CM or bulk up, or just gets off a free attack. So, so right now we're dealing with this uh, Zatu, and to be honest, I I don't really know what it wants to do outside of maybe like switch out to the Zoro or the Needle Queen. So here I decide, you know, I'm just gonna go for the Hidden Power Eyes, as this thing goes for Trick, and I'm like, what? And already we're kind of in a back burner, and. Because this is not a speedy Zapdos, so this is really bad for me. If this was speedy Zapdos, then maybe this could be uh, useful for outspeeding Gren. And now I'm like, well, Zapdos is kind of useless now. Even though, except it's pretty much uh, defensive, but you know. Other than that, it is kind of useless. Because um, we just lo we literally just lost one of our walls right now. Even though, like... Inadvertently speaking, so yeah, and this thing has a, ro a rocky helmet, so already we're in the back bit, so. And this Zatu has a rocky helmet, so that's bad. So now we have to like try to figure out how to deal with that, so here I'm just gonna go for Hidden Power Ice. Because I got nothing else to do here, so until she switches out, so I'm gonna ha kinda have to force, I'm gonna be forced to respond to what she has to bring, so yeah. Goes into Licky Licky, and I'm like, alright, alright, I see you. I'm gonna go for Bioplume, as it goes for the Earthquake, so I'm assuming this is for the Magirna. And I don't, bl I don't blame uh, Cynthia for bringing Earthquake, so yeah. And uh, to be honest, uh, like right now I could just fire off a Sludge Bomb, really, because nothing wants to take take it, so. So I'm just recovering from my uh, thing. And it apparently it goes hard for Satu, and just at that drops dead, so I'm like, well, that's. That's eventful, but now we're pretty much stuck with Scarf Zapdos for the rest of the game, and uh, no, well, at least we don't have to deal with Rocky Helmet, so yeah. Um, so out comes the Greninja, and honestly, I could have stayed in, or I don't know if this was this turn or the other turn, but I honestly wanted to stay in here. But here I just go to Licky Licky, expecting the Ice or just Ice Beam, but it goes for the Surf, and I'm like, all right, that's fine. You can uh, get some chip if you want, so... And this thing goes for low kick, and I'm like, wow. Well, it apparently has that. Thankfully, we have a lot of HP investment, and this thing's naturally bulky. <laughs> it doesn't have any defense at all, so it kind of indicates to me that this thing is kind of mixed, but not as physically offensive, Grand. Maybe like E-Build, but I don't know, so... Here, I'm just going to go for the Wish. Cover up. And this thing goes licky licky, and we're just... Here, just, uh, yeah, both Licky Lickies are just, uh, licking at each other. Mine's just yellow, so, yeah. Oh, wait, I skipped the return, so, not bad. So, here I just go for the Protect, and it fails, of course. But I could just go for Bioplume here, and, uh, makes a good double, in a way. And I'm like, well, I didn't want to do this, but... I'm gonna try to go for a game, like, like a play, and I'm just deciding. I'm just I'm gonna think. Okay, maybe uh, she doesn't uh, go for Ice Beam this time, and I'm just gonna go for the uh, Sun Spore. So he goes for the Ice Beam, gets a crit, and I miss my Stun Spore. So yay! <laughs> I mean, this is already going off to a great start. So I mean. Stun Spore on this would have meant that uh, Gran would have been like pretty much uh, useless. And depending on this uh, Licky Licky set, um, pretty much uh, I doubt this thing is like 
just Earthquake. It has to have Body Slam or something like that, so or S Toss. Otherwise, uh, we would have just got rid of a Gren right there. So some of all, he got got rid of my Zapdos. You know, speed wise, just feature wise, this thing would have been useless from a, a slow perspective, if you ask me. So yeah. So now I'm kind of useless with this Endless. So he goes for the Ice Beam, and thankfully no freeze, and goes for the Low Kick, and it gets a crit. But think we would go for the wish because good thinking on my end because that would have been bad. Here I go for the protect and now I'm in a very bad spot here because Nido Queen could actually be physically offensive or or just like have a well could just go for a toxic on me because toxic can't miss. It could try to me but you know I have oblivious but it's better just to toxic me in general. It can also have superpower which is probably worst case scenario. But we could probably wish that off, so... But instead it goes for the rocks. And I'm just gonna go for the wish to recover whatever damage it goes, so yeah. Here, I try to go for Toad. Because I know that I'm able to take one hit from Nidoqueen. And I am specially defensive, so I'm like, alright, I can just heal back up. So, at least I get some... I, get, I pretty much got a free switch in here. And I'm like, alright, this is... Alright, playtime's over. We're gonna try to get up rocks. For our team, so... Since uh, Satu is gone. Here it goes to Licky Licky and I go for my rocks. And I go for Licky Licky on my own. And honestly, I sh honestly shouldn't have done this. Because I could have just toxic this uh, Licky Licky. And I honestly was, I, don't, I didn't want to play around with like, um, I don't know if I wanted to like toxic this thing. Because, um, I think I just wanted to get like at, around this time. I thought about trying to get he like healthy like the you know, fire plume, but thinking about it now, I should have just like toxic licky licky because very likely it doesn't have like coverage. As you see, this thing does have toxic, so it's very likely wish protect uh, licky licky, yeah, especially with the protect for the toxic stall. So, so yeah, this is kind of a, a bad play on my end, except for getting the paralysis and going for the body slam. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, as you'll see, that'll come into play a little bit later in this turn, in the, in the battle, so. He goes for the Wish, and I get my re recovery up, so. Here I just go for the Wish, as... Um, Licky Licky goes for the Earthquake. <laughs> kind of confusing my own Licky Licky here. I am getting worn down pretty badly. And here I just go Hard Gallade, as I'm expecting a Paralysis, or a Protect, or whatever. I don't know, I just got a Paralysis turn, so that was pretty much a free turn, so. I did want it to like ensure that Gallade gets in for free with the wish. Hopefully with no toxic, but you know. Here I'm just gonna go for the SD here. As uh Licky Licky uh Obsidia's side goes for the earthquake. And at this point I'm like, well, if she gets paralyzed here, um I could pretty much win the game. Like right here. So And I go for the drain punch and fortunately for her, she has the chopper berry. From the Licky Licky, and Licky Licky just t like just takes that pretty well, and goes for the Toxic. Now, I had that Toxic not been in place, I think I probably won, or would have been very very close because, but either way, I think we would have like won right there. But you know, with the Toxic timer, this means we we're gonna probably get like a mo two mons, depending on whether or not the Licky Licky gets like Paralysis or gets Paralysis Protect or the Protect. So yeah. So here, uh, this thing goes for the Protect, and I go for the Drain Punch, and I am the Imitation the Chip. It tries to go for Protect, but here I just go for the Earthquake. I honestly think that was kind of a bad play on my end. I should have just went for like, uh. I honestly should have just went for the Drain Punch in case, like, uh, um, like, just to get recovery in general. Because, as you'll see, um, I could have just got, like, recovery, and then, like, it's just Zoro, Zoro would just come out, so yeah. And this thing comes out right now, so. Apparently, the game comes down to a damage roll, but I'm not so sure exactly how much, so, um, so I'm like, alright, so, this Zoro is in. And I'm at plus two, and I, I don't know if I want to switch out. I could switch out to Vileplume, and like force a, oh, off an FX floor, and save like, you know, delayed for later. And that's very likely. But at the same time, I'm Vileplume 
being sacked means I have no cleric, so yeah, I'm probably have to win this game now with uh, Magirna and Licky Licky and Seismitoad. So yeah, maybe a, and a Scarf Zapdos. So yeah, here I decide. You know what? I don't want to risk this thing being going for the bulk up, and I really don't want this thing setting up on me. So I decide. You know, I'm just gonna go for Earthquake. Uh, Zoroark goes for the Plasma Fist, as I just go for the Earthquake and just knock this thing out. And uh, yeah, we get taken out as well. I've, I really wish I would have went for the Drain Punch, but I don't know at the time how if that would have knocked out. It probably would have, but at the same time, if uh, the Zoroara went for the uh, bulk up, that would have been really bad for me. Because there's a good chance that that Zoroara could be HP invested and then, you know, it might live. Or it could be Shuckleberry, so yeah. Like, it was kind of a, a weird 50-50, whether to Drain Punch or <laughs> Earthquake there. That one, I kind of have to, like, call that one. But the other turns where I could have just went for a Drain Punch to recover up damage, yeah, that's one that is on me, so yeah. Um, I go to Science Toad because I felt that was the only reasonable Pokemon to, to switch in it now, so... as uh, it's pretty healthy. At this point, we still have to deal with a healthy Grand, Altaria, and Nidoqueen, so it's still a close match. And here, uh, Cynthia switches to Altaria, takes some chip. And I go for the Earthquake, and that's unfortunate because uh, um, this Altaria is going to be a little bit annoying, as you'll see. It goes for Hyper Voice without the Mega, and I go for the Toxic, trying to uh, wear down this uh, Altaria. But unfortunately, as I remember, this thing has Natural Cure, so if it wants to, she could just switch out, so yeah. Uh, as I think I think Cynthia realizes this, and like, I'm, realizes, yeah, I'm not going to... Mega, because otherwise that means I have a Toxic, but that doesn't matter as you'll see. So, um, here I'm just hoping, uh, like, uh, this has Fire Blast and misses, but of course she has the Flamethrower, so, um, looks like, uh, but the good thing is that is the Toxic is in play, so at least we can, uh, kind of stall this thing out, as I suspect. Unfortunately, it has Refresh, so... Yeah, this thing is, is especially offensive Altaria, and that could probably be very bad for us. So yeah. So here I go for Wish. Now, at this point, I went for Wish because it's not to heal up for Licky Licky, but it's for to uh, basically go for game with Magirna. Because I knew that, like at this point, like Magirna is going to be our win con. Like, we're going to have to play this out with Magirna now, so... And uh, it comes down to whether uh, Cynthia calls this, and I'm just going hard Magirna either way, and I should be able to take a flamethrower or, or like uh, no matter what. So yeah, here I'm just gonna go into my uh, Magirna, and uh, yeah, as she goes for the roost, and I just fill off whatever damage I get off from there. So yeah, um, this thing goes for the flamethrower, doesn't uh, two shot me thankfully. And now I have to hope that this thing doesn't get a crit, so... Goes for the Flamethrower again as uh, I go for my Palpa Berry. And I just get the kill on the Altaria. So, this thing drops pretty fast, so now we have a plus one Special Defense and plus two Magirna on our side, so... At this point, it, I think the game comes down to whether or not uh, we're able to kill... Like this Nidoqueen, or if this Nidoqueen is like a Life Orb. Or, or offensive, so yeah, in whatever fashion. So this thing goes for the Earth Power, and it is Life Orb, but we're able to take that, and we kill that thing with an Ice Beam. But unfortunately, Fred's gonna take us out. So now the game comes down to whether or not Toad, like pretty much, what's it comes down to whether Zapdos cannot get frozen, and if Seismitoad and Licky Licky have enough HP to take it out the Grant. So yeah, so Grant's probably gonna go for the low kick just. Because, you know, I want to deal with that, so. Uh, and now, we have Zapdos. And it turns out, uh, she did try to scrape my uh, Gren, or my uh, Gren tried to scrape Gallade, so yeah. Uh, yeah, we win the game. So, apparently Scar Zapdos with no bulk actually outspeeds uh, uh, Speed Creeping Gren. That's, uh, I think it's like 351, I believe. Because that's like, I know my Gallade is like, like max speed would be 350. 
so maybe it would have been a little bit lower or it, it would have been maybe modest or something like that so so either way it might have been really bulky because you know if you don't maybe like you know i don't know how people like tend to do their speed creeps but yeah that probably what came into factor so yeah um so anyways that was a very good game from uh, cynthia zen and uh, she actually played very well like and I think the game came down to a bunch of like turns where like it, it, honestly I was at the back with most of the game, and I think it came down to maybe if uh, sh like Cynthia read any of the possible doubles, like or just went for any doubles like you know going into Needle Queen on my Magirna, that would have been really bad. So that probably would have won her the game if that were the case. I think we both talked about this after the, the matchup and how like. Uh, yeah, like, uh, that would have came down to, that would have been, like, a an upset, so. Um, I will admit, like, uh, she did, I will admit, like, Cynthia did give up, improve based off, like, the last time I battled her, but, not, well, not last time, but, like, um, she did, like, improve as a battler, so. Um, and, one best thing about it is, like, it's basically now, we're advancing to the next round, so, yeah. Um, anyways, uh, he's to Cynthia. Hopefully she does well in the next rounds. As we will advance to round three, so. And we're facing off against, uh, I think, Alpha or Predator. I think it's gonna be Alpha, yeah. So, we'll see how that happens. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time, so. Peace.